Hi everybody, Todd here. Today I'm going to on, on an adventure that I probably will fail at, but I thought I would try anyways. I'm looking for the sunken church of San Augustine. And the church of San Augustine was basically flooded in the 60s when they built the Presa, the dam here in San Miguel de Allende. And uh, during the dry season, actually, there's the water gets so low that the church becomes visible again. And if it's really dry, you can walk all the way out there. I think I can find it, but I doubt I'll be able to walk all the way out there. Uh, the first thing I'll need to do is, uh, last week I was able to actually ride my bike across the Presa where there's normally water. So we're gonna start, because that's the shortcut, by trying to ride across the Presa and then we'll see if we can find the church. Really, it's pretty amazing to me how dry the Presa is. All that land behind me normally is just full of water. And now you see, cows grazing out there. So first we'll see if we can ride on over to the other side and then we'll make it to the church. Well, here's where I was hoping to cross, but uh, that is just too deep to get through on my motorcycle. I just don't even have any idea how deep it is, so I wouldn't want to get in there and get stuck. Failure number one. All right, so now we're on the other side of the river and we're uh, just cruising along here, seeing if we can cut our way across to get ourselves to the church. You can see that it was really muddy here a few days ago, but uh, it's pretty dry now. Beautiful clouds. Yeah, every once in a while, hit some mud. Like, look at this one up here. <laughs> this will be interesting. Okay. Oh yeah. Really slippery. Somehow we made it through that, or around that. Kind of throwing off some mud here. Well, um, I took another detour that didn't pan out, but it's lovely here, just kind of exploring this side of the Presa. Softer dirt, mostly. This area's a little rocky, but that's why I like coming over here. It's great for the motorbike. So I made it out to the main road. I could have avoided my last 45 minutes of cross-country motorcycle riding if I had just come on the main road, but uh, actually I don't feel nearly as safe on the main road. There's lots of cars that drive a lot faster than I do, even though the road is just incredibly beautiful out here. So here it is, my first glimpse of the church. There I can see it in this valley, of course, that's normally filled with water, and it looks like I'm gonna be able to get there. I think I'm on the road. <laughs> Dios mio. Well, those bikers are very, very stuck in the mud. And there's the church, so let's see. I'm gonna go talk to these people, see how they get across. Sí, yo estaba en este Colima más o menos antes que fui a la carretera y estaba tratando de bajar, pero no vi camino. Hay que, hay que hacerlo, tengo que hacerlo así, mejor. No, con la moto en cinco minutos está ya. Sí, 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 pues un poquito más porque tengo que ir a la carretera, ¿verdad? No. ¿No? Oh, this alrededor? Sí. sí. Okay, voy a intentar eso. 
perfecto. Muchísimas gracias. Qué bueno. Ok, they're telling me not to do what they did. I can just go around. Let's try that. Okay, I'm stuck. I don't know which way to go. I'm going to try to go all the way around the other side of the press again. Back on the, out to the main road and see if I can find a way from there. Oh, God. All right, I came all the way around the other side. It looks like I found it. Okay. I'm riding one-handed here so I can't shift. But, uh... Holy cow. Well, I finally made it. It was not easy. I, I just came across this, which looks like it's dry, but my tire was spinning the whole time and I just had to keep my speed up in first gear. And I knew if I got stopped, I would have been dead in the mud. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out and see what it looks like. Because everything always comes in three. If you want to go for a ride So evidently there was actually a little town here and then in the 60s they had this water project where they actually put up a dam and the idea of this dam to make this press right here is actually to uh, save water so for agricultural uses downstream not actually for San Miguel and uh, there wasn't much here, so they just decided to flood it. Now it's mostly birds. There are birds everywhere. There are egrets here. I don't know ex the exact variety, but they're really beautiful. That over there, that's where I was so close about an hour or so ago and just had to go all the way around and from the other side because I just could not get through this mud. And seeing those bicyclists stuck, and then later I saw an ATV that got stuck. So um, I think I made the right choice, although getting out of here will be very interesting. So wow, it's really been fantastic out here. I'll leave some instructions. Actually, it was really easy to get here if I'd only known how. <laughs> so uh, if you're in the area and you want to come out here, I wouldn't come out nothing less than an SUV. Um, and, and of course, if it rains a little more, it will not be passable. So you got to come at just the right time. So thanks again for joining me on this adventure. And if you like the video, be sure to like it and uh, subscribe for more videos around the area of San Miguel de Ende and Mexico. Thanks and have a great day.